Uh, YouTube, this is going to be my review of the Avengers. Um, I saw it, like, uh, I think I saw it, like, last week. Um, before I get into the review, I guess I'll just say what I thought about the Marvel movies leading up to it. Um, the ones leading up to just the Avengers ones. Um, uh, I, I love the first Iron Man, liked the second one. Uh, I was extremely surprised by Thor. I thought it was, it was good. Um... I, um, the Hulk movies, uh, you know, it was alright, uh, and Captain America, I thought was, you know, I liked it a lot more the first time I saw it, now it kind of, like, dropped a little bit for me, but, um, still, solid, um, the interesting thing is that my favorite thing's about pretty much at least the two Iron Man movies and Thor and Captain America were the performances by the actors, more than the actual plot or the action or anything, so, um, what I was looking forward to about the Avengers was seeing the interactions of everybody. Um, because Iron Man is just completely elevated from good to very good by Robert Downey Jr. Captain Amer My favorite thing about Captain America was Chris Evans. My favorite thing about Thor, which I like more than Captain America, obviously because I like Chris Hemsworth and Tom Hiddleston and um, Anthony Hopkins and Ellie Portman. Uh, Stellan Skarsgård and everyone. So all that kind of elevated everything for me in those earlier Marvel movies. Um, it wasn't until I heard that Joss Whedon was going to be doing the Avengers, uh, which I think I heard, I think they announced it before Thor came out, um, that it was going to be him doing it. When I heard that, then I really thought, like, that's just, like, a masterstroke, because huge Joss Whedon fan, watched, um, you know, Buffy when I was, like, 13 years old, uh, when it started, and, you know, his other shows and stuff like that. Um, he was one of the few... A few times when I was watching a TV show, at least with Buffy, that I, you almost realized there was like a, a storyline for the whole season, or a big bad, a big villain, that all the characters going to have their own problems, and by the end of the season it was all going to lead to one thing. Um, with knowing that, that made me even more, like, you know, thrilled that he was doing the Avengers, because it's just the perfect marriage of, of you know, of, of, um, of his skills and what this movie would need to, to be successful. And, um... So, I love the movie, of course. It was just exactly what I wanted. It was a little... There's a couple... Yeah, there's, like, nitpicks. It was a little slow in the first, like, hour uh, to set everything up a little bit. But, um... It, uh... The best thing about it was its sense of humor. Um... That it brought all the characters together. That it, um... Excuse me. That it gave all the characters their own, like, stuff to do. Uh... I'm not gonna go into, like, the story and plot and everything, but, um... If anyone was worried about the one villain, which was, like, Loki, being too much for all the other characters, completely, you know, completely wrong. He was fantastic. Tom Hiddleston was great again. Um, it felt different, yet similar to all the other movies. At least the actors' performances. And, um, and uh, it just pushed everyone to, like, kind of, if not the next level, just, like, a different one. Uh, maybe a more interesting one than some of their other movies. Uh, because they were all together. If that makes sense. Um... Yeah, I, uh... Even, like, the side... I think the only character that I thought that I wasn't happy with was probably the Jeremy Renner Hawkeye character because, and this is a little spoiler, he spends, like, most of the movie under, at least the first half, under, like, Loki's control. That, you know, at first I was like, uh, you know, whatever. Um, Robert, Do Robert Downey Jr. was great. Chris Hemsworth was great. Chris Evans was great. Um, Scarlett Johansson was, like, best improved, pretty much, from Iron Man 2 to this. It was completely different. That was the biggest dramatic change. Um, and, uh... It might be a little far-fetched that she was able to do as much as she did, because everyone else, you know, was so much stronger and everything like that. But, uh, she held her own, and it was, it was you know, that was fine. Uh... Plus, she was the nicest one to look at, for me. Um... Samuel Jackson was nice, you know, he got a couple of more lines than, you know, the little, after the credit scenes, so that was good. He basically just played Samuel Jackson. I didn't really see, like, Nick, I'm not a big comic book, like, fan, but, you know, I didn't really see any Nick Fury with Samuel Jackson with an eye patch, which, at this state of the game, is, is completely fine with him. He can pretty much do whatever he wants. Um, but, uh, so I heard people complain that, you know, the, the, like, Loki's army in the movie is kind of weak. Like, alright, it's a bunch of, like, faceless whatever, but when you have all the heroes on one side that you have to really pay attention to, I don't think that really mattered. 
Um, I'll say the last 50 minutes of the movie is just one long action scene. And, uh, and I saw Transformers 3, and similar in that way, except this one you care about everyone, um, as opposed to that one. That's why this one was better. Also, the humor, again, um, the exchanges between the characters, you know, Whedon's dialogue just, like, snaps, on, you know, all the time. Uh, there were three visual gags in the movie where one character is just completely taken out of the screen by another character. Um... Uh, particular one with like Hulk and Thor toward the end of the movie where it happens for like no reason that I thought was very funny. By, uh, by the way, um, Mark Ruffalo was great. Mark Ruffalo, you, if you went and going like, ah, Mark Ruffalo would be nice if it was Edward Norton, I am so happy it was Mark Ruffalo. Um, I thought Edward Norton would have brought, um, I don't know what he would have brought. It, it seems like he would have brought something that might not have gelled as much. And I love Edward Norton, but it just, it felt like Mark Ruffalo was just perfect. Um, and they finally figured out Hulk. That's the one thing that they did. Um, so, uh, I'm not saying I'd run to a Mark Ruffalo Hulk movie. Um, but if they did one, you know, between now and the next Avengers, that's that's fine. So, uh, i definitely watch it. Maybe not in theaters, but whatever, still. Uh, I don't know. What else? I'm trying to think if there's something else. Um, perhaps I did. I guess that's it. I'd probably give it like an A minus. Um, my second favorite movie of the year. My third favorite is Joss Whedon's other movie that he's got out now called Cabin in the Woods. It's a horror movie that he wrote it. If anyone enjoys, is you know, likes Joss Whedon or love the Avengers, I would suggest checking that out. Um, because whatever reasons you you enjoyed his stuff or the Avengers, you'll find at least some of that in Cabin in the Woods. Um, or if you're just a horror fan, you like to see some of the you know cliches turned on its head. Check that out. Uh, that's my third favorite movie so far this year. Avengers is two, and I'm still a, the Gray is still my favorite movie. Um, I've seen some. I haven't seen that many. You know, I've seen Twenty One Jump Street and like Hunger Games and stuff like that. Um, but as far as by the end of the year, um, it's gonna be difficult to top uh, Avengers and uh, and the Gray, I guess. Well, I mean, at least difficult to top the Gray for me. Uh, but alright, I'm starting to ramble now, so I'm just gonna, gonna stop this. Um, yes, so go check out The Avengers. Um, not that you probably didn't need my help, but, um, it, uh, it was just the perfect, like, summer, you know, popcorn movie. Um, it's not, you know, The Dark Knight Rises is a completely different, you know, reason that you would be going to see this than going to see that. Um... By the way, saw the trailer. That that looks amazing and everything. But um, yeah, just go into this expecting to have fun, and you will. Um, a couple of bumps in the first hour, but once you get through it, before you know it, you'll be at the final action set piece in the last hour of the movie, and the movie will be over like that. So um, so yeah, I can't wait to check it out again. All right, later.